Greg Gutfeld and Janine Pirro fiercely criticized Joy Reid's comments on The Five. Reid had controversially compared the severity of COVID-19 to an assassination attempt on Donald Trump and criticized the media's portrayal of various events. Gutfeld particularly was alarmed by the quality and mental state of some media personalities' opinions. The left is so desperate to put Joe Biden on a level playing field with Donald Trump. We're equating millions who, who, who uh, died of COVID with an attempted assassination and a bullet to the head. I don't know. That wasn't the comparison. The comparison was him, him getting COVID and him having an injured ear, which shows how. Look, <laughs> my first question I would have asked if I was there, I would have said, how did you get how did you free yourself from the straps on your gurney? And then I would ask, what would you rather have? An opportunity to get shot or COVID. You can't say bloody ear or COVID because when you're about to be shot, you don't get to choose where you get shot. Something tells me she would have gone with the COVID. You know, here's the deal. Opinions can be crazy. That's fine. But crazy can't be an opinion. When every word out of your mouth could have easily come from a homeless guy in a street corner wearing, you know, d discarded trash bags and tinfoil, you have to say to them, mental illness is not an opinion. That is a message to the M MSNBC president. What's her name? Take a moment and think about if, if, if there's nothing for you to say, perhaps silence is the intelligent avenue. Media bias and the truthfulness of journalism are paramount issues. Greg Gutfeld's critique of Joy Reid underscores a public outcry for genuine and balanced reporting steering clear of sensationalism. His comments call for honest and rational discourse, emphasizing a conservative belief in reality and reason as the foundations of public conversation. Gottfeld's comparison of Reed's remarks to those made by mentally ill individuals highlights a demand to address mental health issues seriously, ensuring irrational comments are not mistaken for legitimate viewpoints. Janine Pirro echoed this sentiment, arguing that comparing tragedies such as COVID 19 deaths, and assassination attempts is inappropriate and diminishes the gravity of each. Each issue must be treated with the seriousness it deserves.